This is a very quiet little uh, back street in a very small town called Alnay. It's got a longer name than that, but I can't remember it. But it's known as Alnay. And uh, my accommodation for this evening is in here, which is simply marvellous. I'll take some more in the daylight. But um, <laughs> I was looking for somewhere to put my tent and uh, stumbled across this, across this place. Obviously, I didn't just walk in, kind of help myself, as it were, but a uh, nice little place to, uh, to read, write my notebook, quaff a little bit of Grave Vino by candlelight, cook myself some, uh, some chicken pasta sweet corn thing on the hob here, and uh, up these stairs, we get to uh, what is a very small dormitory. I've got to be quiet in case there's anybody sleeping. Oh, there's nobody sleeping because I'm the only one here. Because it's the 8th of October. And <clears throat> it's only nutcases, really, that are on the road to Santiago de Compostela in October. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a little dormitory for six people. And uh, I've got my sleeping bag there. And I have the key and I have the run of the place to myself. Which is quite brilliant, really, because it's cost me four quid. Four quid for a hot shower, the use of the, uh, the WC, and uh, I'm able to cook myself some grub for the first time in ages. And uh, I'm just going to watch where I'm walking as I go down these stairs. I don't want to fall on top of the... Uh, fire alarm button there, that could get a little bit messy if I do that, but um, it's been great, it's really good. Um, I was looking for somewhere to camp, there was a cheap hotel here which I was tempted by having had the last three nights in my tent which has been fine, um, you don't sleep that well though and after three nights you kind of, you are gagging for a bed a little bit, but um, I was walking down the street and asked this woman whether she could point me in the right direction and she pointed directly across the road and said if you go knock on that door there um, and they'll they'll sort you out and it turned out that they're the people that um, that own this little place it's a little refuge that um, I, I guess according to the date on the certificate over there they started in the year 2006 and um, yeah basically if you're a pilgrim doing the route to Santiago you can stop here um, up to six people, as you've seen, for, uh, for yeah, less than a fiver, which is great. Brilliant. And because I'm the only one, it's like I've got my own pad for the evening. It's great. I've managed to dry my clothes in the dryer here. That's the rest of my food. It's always the problem. You buy a bag of pasta and, of course, you've always got way too much. My clothes are in here, I think. I washed them all in the shower with shampoo rinse them out and then this is a dryer so I thought well I might as well make most of it and uh, there it all is lovely mm, fresh smelling clean dry clothes not bad at all so we have dry clothes um, some pasta which we'll eat en route tomorrow uh, I've had a lovely evening reading a book about Spain which is where I'm heading to slowly, slowly, writing my notebook and um, charging my phones and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's great. Not bad at all for a fiver or less than a fiver. Not bad at all. So this is my home. Down this quiet. I mean, it's a it's a very small town. It's actually. Uh, got better services than some of the other bigger towns that I've been to. It's actually got, you know, a decent grocery, a decent bakery. Most towns have bakeries, but some of the bigger towns, they, they rely on supermarkets on the outskirts of the town. And once you've arrived there, that means you've either got to walk another two or three kilometres back out of the town, or uh, or rely on, well, sometimes it's kind of like one of these um, upmarket pizzerias, you know, where everything's kind of local produce, but it's three times or four times expensive, so... But this town, no, it's good. A couple of bars. Um, but it's very old. 
dong means it must be half past the hour. That's the thing about the churches here. They all, all have bells. Every single little town and village has a church with a clock and bells that go off. And if it's 10 o'clock, it'll dong 10 times on 10 o'clock and 10 times at the end of the minute to remind you that it's 10 o'clock. So in the space of a minute, there's 20 dongs. So if you're trying to get to sleep at just about midnight, you forget it because 24 dongs later, you're bound to be awake. <laughs> and then just in case you didn't wake up, there's a dong at quarter past. And in most places, there's two dongs at half past and three dongs at quarter two. But here, it's very civilised, just one dong at half past. But there we go, that's the Rue, the Rue Sans Soleil. <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting road name, isn't it? The Rue Sans, that means the road without sunshine. I suppose it is kind of... slightly secluded with the, the wall and the, the, the bushes overhanging it, but I can tell you for sure that this Friday the 8th of October in Mel was not a day sans soleil. No way. 28 degrees today. 28 degrees. It was an absolute scorcher. Azure blue skies. Great walking, but hot. Hot. So, yeah, the Rue Sans Soleil. Which road am I on? I'm on the Rue. The Rue Beaulieu. And uh, my hosts, well, they, they have a house just sort of the bottom of this street and round to the left near the main square. It's not far away. It's only a small town. What are they called? They're called uh, Monsieur et Madame Bureau. René and Edith. René. I've always wanted, to, ever since I saw um, Allo, Allo, I've always wanted to meet a Frenchman called René. I've met one tonight. René, he's my host. <clears throat> he's a bit skinnier than, uh, than René and Allo, Allo, and he wasn't surrounded by uh, pretty looking waitresses clamouring for his attention. But, uh, <clears throat> and uh, when he gave me the key to my, uh, to my apartment, um, he didn't mention anything about the Madonna with the big boobies. Um, but, you know, hey-ho. It was still called cool, Renee. All these shutters. It's all very quiet. It's about 11 o'clock now. No, it's not. Because I've just had one dong. It's half past ten. It's only half past ten. Everything is as quiet as you like. So, I'm going to go back and uh, finish writing my notebook <clears throat> and drinking a little bit of grav, which is great. Then I'm going to get good sleep. I've got about 30 kilometres to do tomorrow to saint jean d'Angely. So wish me luck. My house. My house. And it's not a tent. It's not a tent.